and welcome back to the Wrestling Newsroom. I'm your host, Orphan Justin, and today we're going to be looking at all the wrestling news from Saturday. First of all, I'd like to thank Izzy Bella for helping me set up the camera. Please go subscribe to her channel. Her link is on my awesome channel's links. Now let's get straight to the news. Eva Murray recently did an interview with Rollingstone.com and talked about her departure from WWE. She said, I had such a great relationship with Vince uh, McMahon, Triple H, and Stephanie McMahon. They gave me an opportunity to step away and film these two films that I had done already and you never know when that relationship will come back so my appearance on the slam or wrestlemania it just so happens that the wrestling craft you have been able to give yourself 100 percent 10 percent to that and then with acting you have to do the same so i decided to together that with the films going back to back i'm going to put my efforts into acting and growing that way and then you never know all things <coughs> all read everything could come back and snatch that title WWE fan base is so fantastic, they're so diehard, and in the last 10 months I've been asking where it's all read everything, or they've been asking. So both teams came out and decided we need to def uh, <coughs> definitively let the fans know what's going on. Uh, I can agree with her here, she wants to go and pursue acting, best of luck to you Eva Marie on Nat Natalie Eva Marie, something like that was her real name. But anyway, best of luck to you, we may see you back in the future, just learn how to wrestle next time. Uh, and Balor talks about how his injury actually helped him. You remember a few months ago Finn Balor tore his leg uh, when he won the Universal title beating Seth Rollins at, I think, last year's Battleground. I can't quite remember what pay-per-view it was. It was that long ago. He, uh, he said it helped him. Oh, from some, last year's SummerSlam, sorry. Uh, I think seeing Stan, I'm better... in a better situation than ever, personally and professionally. Obviously, at the time, the injury sucked. A torn labium... But it was also a torn bicep, a torn pec. I actually fractured the socket. So there's an injury where I spent a good seven months on the shelf and rehabilitating. During that time, I had time to think and grow as a person. And when I came back, I've been back a couple of months. I feel like I've grown as a performer through the whole process. Honestly, I feel about uh, feel better going into this year's SummerSlam than I did going into your last year's where I actually won the title with one arm. So I'm pretty confident in going into SummerSlam against Bray Wyatt and all systems are going to be firing and I'm going to come out on top. Did he just spoil the ending of the match there? Did he just say he's going to win? Mm. But anyway, good Finn Balor. At least you had personal growth through an injury. I'm glad. Um, and Drew McIntyre... Uh, <laughs> mentioned how he reacted to Jinder Mahal winning the WWE title. Um, it was on x -Pac's podcast. He said, I was there that night in Chicago, the pre-show for NXT the night before, and I stayed at the pay-per-view the next day. I didn't want to know the result, and I told both Randy and Jinder, don't tell me. I'll just watch from the crowd. And when he won, most of the NXT roster were headed on the bus and sprinting off like the Ultimate Warrior straight to Gorilla. I was there waiting for him and busting a three-man pandecto. <laughs> Oh, that's quite funny. That made me laugh. Oh, I could just imagine. But yeah, at least it shows a friends. So, good. Good. Well, they weren't three. <laughs> they weren't three MB together, so you do expect it. Where were you when Heath Slater won his tag team championships? Drew McIntyre, that is the question. When you will win the WCBW world title. So, that's my question answered. And the best story of the day, in my opinion, The Rock. The People's Champion has changed the Brahma Bull Tattoo. Alright, I'll show you the tattoo because it looks sweet. Okay, there's the before and there's the after. Look at that beast. Oh, that is so cool. Uh, he wrote on Instagram, I believe. Yeah, this is definitely Instagram. Evolution of the Bull, blood, sweat and tears. After three sessions of 22 hours of tattooing, tattooing uh, a world-renowned... Uh, tattoo artist Nico Hurt Ado. I do, don't like that. The story is almost done. Every detail is a reflection of my own personal history from the cracks and the heavy, damaged bone um, representing life's hard lessons I've learned over the years, just like scars and wrinkles. I'm so grateful for having because they're earned to the horns not pointing up or out to the sides, but pointing straight ahead, representing relentless energy and full progress at the core. An anchor of this image is in the eye. Look closely and you'll find life, energy, power, and you'll feel the manner, spirit. The eye tells a story of a destructive, positive energy that always ready to dent the universe, depending on the light and, ang and ang angle. Sometimes the energy s s uh, 
subtle and sometimes glaring, but it's always alive and ready to disrupt the universe and love, protect my family and all things I love with the intense passion and gratitude. Cheers to living, learning, evolving, growing, and to the positive disruptors are ready to dent the universe. Hashtag uh, evolution of the ball, hashtag the disruptor, hashtag the main manner. Seriously, I just, I just have to show it one more time. Just in detail so you can get that. That is a lovely goddamn tattoo. Went from that little thing to that damn rock. Lovely. Um, and Finn Balor reveals his original return plans. Uh, missing the Royal Rumble WrestleMania. Obviously heartbroken not to be included in WrestleMania. There was talks about putting me in the Royal Rumble in January, but I missed the deadline by a week or ten days. Everything was put on hold critically. WrestleMania just wasn't meant to be. Thoughts on Bray Wyatt? He's an interesting cat. I've admired him for a long time. I think he's one of the most underrated talents that we have in the ring and on the mic. If you ever get the mic off of him, he's a huge man. It'll be hard to get a hold of him when you can't get my arms around him, but I look forward to adapting my style for him. I'm a big fan of seeing smaller guards versus big men and how his goals have changed. When I first broke in, I wanted to be the best technical wrestler on the planet. That was what I enjoyed being in the ring at the moment and being the best athlete. When I was about 12 years in, something clicked and I realised that there was more to to it than that. The performance side of it, we all grow and change as people. That was just when my goal shifted and my career changed. That's when I am now as a performer. One day I may shift again. I'll be doing backflips all the time like fellow wrestlers Rick Shell Neville. But this is where I am now. Fair enough. I like Finn Balor. I don't think he's underused. I don't think WWE is ruining him like most people think. I think they're just letting him just be Mr. Cool. He'll get his shot. Don't worry about that. Um, and... According to James McKenna of ProWrestlingSheet.com, Scott Dawson has had his bicep surgery and things went well. He is, respect, he is expected to return by the end of the year. Best of luck to your recovery, Scott Dawson. Uh, and obviously, if you have not seen it, we had to be to 2 k actual footage uh, put out yesterday. It looks bloody amazing. Oh my God. Please click, check out my live uh, streams of WWE2K2018 when it comes out. It'll be on All Things Wrestling YouTube channel. Uh, and Triple H ends this week's show with comments towards Ronda Rousey and WWE possibly working together. I don't know why my voice went weird like that. Uh, an interview with uh, CBS Sports, Triple H commented on her possibly working for WWE. I think Rousey is in a transition period of her life and is in a great place. I think she's getting married soon or something. Look, she's got a lot going on, but I'm all about creating opportunities. That's what the Mae Young Classic is all about, creating opportunities for these women that never had it before. If Ronda Rousey wants an opportunity, I'd be happy to talk to her about it. I think Ronda Rousey has been fantastic in our business for a very long period of time. There are so many similarities. You don't have some of the competitive drawbacks maybe come with the elite level of fighter. Fair enough. Uh, so he's saying he'll give her an opportunity, which is good. Now that has been the Wrestling Newsroom. Thank you all for watching. Thank you if you're watching this on Facebook. Uh, yeah, all my YouTube uh, fans, people, uh, I've made a Facebook page for myself. Uh, just search All Things Wrestling and it'll have my logo. So follow, follow up there because there'll be newsroom and a lot of pictures and other stuff where I'll figure out what to do with the uh, Facebook page. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all for watching this. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a like. Please support me on Patreon, link in the description below. Subscribe to see more content and I'll catch you later.